Hi, this is the new gas forge. Uh, I designed it because my older forge was getting a bit too small. Uh, this one is a lot larger. I can forge, uh, well, forging uh, this big in it, and it has the ability to control the uh, atmosphere of the oven. I can control the air in order to get a reducing atmosphere, so I can hopefully uh, forge well the mask is without flux. Besides that, it has a few unique features which I will show you. It is a brick pile forge, uh, so it is possible to make the interior bigger or smaller by stacking the bricks in another configuration. There is a watts linkage for the door with counterweights. You can use this lever here to open it or you can use the tongs over here. So uh, what I was looking for was a very even uh, temperature throughout the whole oven. Uh, so I decided to go for ribbon burners and I made two of them. And one of the, the, the last one can be shut off with this ball valve. So you'll only have to operate the first burner. And when you replace the rear wall inside the oven, uh, the oven is only half its size. So that will uh, save some fuel. The burners here are connected with a high temperature silicone kit. Usually they are cast off refractory and um, that is probably a very good idea but I decided just to drill holes in insulating fire bricks and it actually works. Um, I've been using this forge for four times now uh, till 1400 degrees Celsius and they're holding up fine. Uh, time will tell if they will um, uh, hold up against any abuse from uh, well material which slams to the to the side. Um, so far, so good, and maybe in time it will. I will need to also cast it from ref refractory, but well, we'll see. There's a safety system with a normally closed solenoid valve, so when there's no electricity or when the blower fails, the uh, solenoid shuts the gas supply off and uh, there won't be any big flames coming out the oven. This is the air pressure sensor and it's connected with a little tube to the blower. When you press the switch uh, there has to be enough pressure in order for the relay to remain uh, to give a closed circuit. The hood for the gas fume extraction is integrated so I don't have to mount it on the on the wall and when I go to another shop uh, I don't have to do that again. Um, and the whole frame is easy movable throughout the shop with a pallet truck. So this is at the lowest setting and I can increase the propane a little bit. This is the reducing atmosphere. And I can also increase the air. So there it goes. Or even a bit more propane. A bit more air. That's how you tune the forge.